Good morning, Ninja Kittens. Hello, Hello Kitty Warriors. This is a morning meditation on the very first of the chakras. It is the purple chakra. And you know, if I had to live with any one color, because many people have asked, Sandy, what is your favorite color? If I had to live with only one color, it would be the color purple. Every shade that there is, Every little bit that there is, I would be wearing purple today, which I am actually. It's the color purple. And with this meditation, we've lit our wood wood candle, which gives us the feel of a crackling fire. And we have gathered around us, well, some of my favorite Hello Kitties, including Big Heart, and uh, Showgirl, and Funny Bunny, and Barbie, and Hello Ho. And they're here just to listen to me talk about the, the crown chakra. Uh, the crown chakra is, well, it's, it's like a crown that's on your head, but it's not your crown. It's divinity is what it is. Um, we are not alone in this universe. You look at a dandelion. You look at the beauty of that dandelion. You see how it's made and it's created. It's so lovely. It's so wonderful. You know we're not alone. You look at the stars at night. And look at the infinite glory. You know that we're not alone. You see a sunset and the explosion of color there. You know we're not alone. We are connected to the divine today. And the purple, the color purple, celebrates that connection. So go back to your own memory. Go back to your own very first memory of your feeling of God. How you define it. I'm not defining it for you. I'm a great believer in coexisting. I've told my friends... I've got roots in Jesus, and i got leaves in the chakras, and I've got everything in between. I give love with open hands, and I accept whatever you are. And I send love to you, and I know that love is coming from you to me. And the little saying that God is love really warms my heart this morning. Because I know I'm connected to the divine today. The purple of this meditation, the purple of the chakra, is a royal purple. Not just a purple, but it's a royal purple. There's something rich about it. There's something holy about it. There's something regal about the color purple in this shade. And I honor it, and I treasure you. So today, let's think back into our memories. Let's take a little trip back into our thoughts and our prayers going up when we were young, or just a day ago or just even today, and remember that we are not alone, that we are connected not just to one another, but to our, our higher power. And today I am connected to my higher power. Sometimes I laugh, and I tell you, say the universe is, is getting things ready for me, things I never prepared for, I never thought of. Um, my divinity has prepared for me many wonderful things, and I am sure you also are blessed with this connection. Because this is a universal connection. I'm not the only one that feels this way. I know this. I've talked to many. And also I send love out to many. And I receive it back from them. It's a circle. A circle of love. A circle of light. A circle of grace. So whether you say, Now I lay me down to sleep. Or you sit on a mat. Or you chant what you need to chant. Whatever it is you believe. I believe that as long as you have life flowing through you, as long as you open your heart to your God, as long as you love the other one or everyone around you and send love back to them, as long as you honor your highest self and allow yourself to become your best you, that your God will love you, as I know my God loves me. And this, my friend, is, uh, that's Holoha, and she's a bit of a hippie. And she's a... She's also, it's not just a hippie, she's also a ballerina. And she's also a beautiful, lovely lady. And she's also, uh, well, she's a bit of a, a diva, what she is. Look at her little, little, little ballet shoes there, and her little necklace I made for her. All of this is part of her life and her love. And we, my children, my friends, my neighbors, my bits of God love, we are not alone. We're connected with each other. It is a holy and blessed thing. 
So one thing I like to do is like, I, I like to look at a campfire. I remember sitting around campfires all my youth and thinking about, oh, the wonders of beauty, the wonders of creation, and the wonders of friendship. Because air and ember meet at night, bringing us rare delights, remembering of summer days, springing flowers, autumn haze, warming hands and feet and heart drawn together, friendship starts. And you know, the crackling fire, the, the, the sunset, um, a poem I wrote called Creation Speaks I'd like to share. And it's, the, it's another poem called Creation Speaks and it goes, Red vein petals of royal hue, delicate strength old yet ever new. The heavens rendered kiss the earth, glory descending, dying and new birth. Stars forever shine the light, infinite darkness cut by glory bright, in sun setting, in heavens flowing, in the delicate strength of a flower, yes, creation speaks. And that's the key to life, my friends. It's the key to our life, is we listen, listen with our heart, listen with our body, listen with our soul, what creation has to speak to us. You call it intuition, you call it premonition, uh, you call it kismet, you call it destiny, you call it determination, you call it many things. But be open to it. Be open to being led today by the inspiration that is divine. Because all the chakras work together. Because you are divinely inspired. And it will reach down to you today. It will reach down to your heart. It will reach down to your full soul. It will reach down to your feet today. And you'll feel yourself moving in a new direction because you are divinely inspired today. Because you are, my friends, a drop of God love. That's what you are. You are a drop of God love, Barbie. You are a drop of God love, funny bunny. You are a drop of God love, you little showgirl. And big heart Hello Kitty. And my little hula girl over here. You are all so different. You're not like each other. You're just individual. You are yourself. You are your own person. But you are also a drop of God love. You're connected to the divine today. And you will hear that small voice. You will have the tug in your heart. You will know the right direction to take. And when you take that direction, you will see the world fall into place in such wonderful and beautiful ways. Because we are connected to the divine. It is a beautiful day to celebrate the color purple and let your little kitten roar. <laughs> meow. Meow. Um, so... The fire that is in me. There's a song that we didn't start the fire. But that for me is dear. We did start the fire. This fire we did start. We started this fire. The fire is our love. The fire is our light. The fire is our joy. The fire is our positivity. We have this joy. We treasure it. We protect it. We nurture it. We feed it. We share it with one another. And we will go on and share it with the world. Because the throat chakra says, I will speak my highest truth with love and with honor. I will speak my highest truth with love and with honor. And the universe will echo my words softly. Echo my words softly. So join with me today and understand that we are connected to the divine. But it doesn't stop there. That divine is our intuition, is our inspiration, is our premonition. That divine is where our mouth is headed, where we are, the, the, spooth, the, the truth we are speaking today is from that inspiration, is from that connection. We are connected to the divine today. We are not alone, and what we're doing isn't alone. What I'm doing has been divinely planned long, long, long before I ever thought about it. My higher power knew I would be here with you talking about chakras, talking about divinity, talking about God, watching a wood wood candle burn and saying hello to my Hello Kitty friends just because I can.